My name is Beth. I previously worked as service desk analyst, and now I'm on my way to becoming a Linux system administrator. My name is Beth and I'm currently a service desk analyst and I decided to start my journey with Linux because I guess hitting roadblocks as a service desk analyst. I don't know if you've watched the video that Juby put out about <laughs> help desk help, but that's like spot on. So yeah, just you kind of hit a point where you can't learn anymore. And I guess I hit that point and I'd always been interested in Linux. Um, I had taken a course previously. I found it very challenging. I mean, that was back in 2016. So it was difficult to, to learn coming from a Linux back or from, from a Windows background. But um, yeah, I just was up for the challenge and I wanted to learn more and advance my career. right away was very attracted to the schedule for Yellowtail. I had been looking into boot camps for quite a while, probably like a lot of colleagues, and many of them, especially for before the pandemic, you basically had to quit your job and commit to the boot camps for three months um, and you know be attending in person. And I'm a single mom, I have a mortgage, I need to keep my current job, and I also really like my company and I wanna stay there and advance with them and like I don't want to just quit to go attend some boot camp so yeah right off the bat that was really appealing I love that the classes are in person and they're not too long the two hours is just enough time you know so you don't hit that wall of losing all attention so that was great also very flexible I took the course I started in April so a lot of my classes were over the summer and again as a single mom of a teenager like we had a lot of stuff going on so I I unfortunately had to miss a handful of classes, but the whole team was very flexible with that. They always posted the videos the next day, so you could just catch right up and, and be back on track. So it kind of, I mean, that was a little bit disadvan disadvantageous for me in the end because I was a little bit behind because of all of the stuff, you know, that I had going on, but I do feel like I was finally able to catch up. <laughs> and I mean, obviously, because I passed the- Yeah. The certificate and I'm in the apprenticeship now so oh and that was another thing that was really appealing to me was the internship or apprenticeship part of it um, just continuing to get that experience get the interaction I told this to Terry last week when he was on our scrum call my work has recently invited me to shadow our Linux sysadmin and when I was shadowing him the other day like the setup was exactly the same as it is in the apprenticeship so it's so cool to see how that applies in an enterprise setting and yeah I mean it was like exactly the same so that was just really quite neat to see. The challenges I encountered are, like I said, coming from a Windows background, you just kind of always want to think in terms of Windows and you really have to just throw that out the door and really just start new. Like, yes, I have somewhat of an IT background being in a tier one support role, but when you're in the course, you're starting from square one with everyone else. And I think that's challenging, but also obviously really important. And if everyone can just have that mindset, then I think it sets you up for, for success right away. Believe in yourself. Again, trust your instincts. Take the leap. But if you take the leap, you have to commit to it. And there is some room for not being there. Like I said, like you are able to skip some classes, but you really can't fa fall too far behind. Um, so make sure that your family has the awareness and time for you to be able to make this commitment. I mean, it's it's you're spending your money on it, so you don't want that to go to waste. Yeah, you really have to be all in. There's some flexibility with it, but not a lot. And if you fall behind, it's going to be really hard to catch up. So I would definitely encourage people if they're interested in Linux to take the leap, but fully commit and take full advantage of that 
that. I mean, Yellowtail puts out great resources, all of all of their recordings, the labs. I mean, they're just wonderful, hands-on experience, and it, they really set you up nicely for getting that certification. I mean, if I can do it, I feel like many people can do it. Times were doubting myself, and I mean, I think there was once or twice when I thought, you know what, I just am done with this. <laughs> but when I had doubted myself, my classmates believed in me. And as you know, like we just had a really strong cohort and everyone was in it together. And if if you're ever doubting yourself, just talk with your, your classmates and, and get back to it. <laughs> but yeah, it was overall just a really wonderful experience.